Slam channel. Today is Monday, March 18. Hope y'all had a great weekend. It was a great Sunday. Price Picks did offer a couple discounted squares. Hope y'all took advantage. Uh, one of them did not hit with Nikola Djokic, uh, but we did hit on multiple slips, including our top two day one of the latter day challenge. Uh, so let's get started today. My day two has been posted and we got Clint Capella going against the Lakers and I'll be taking his points and rebounds. He's going to have a double-double in this game. So his points and rebounds at 21.5. I'll be taking that and pairing up with Andrew Wiggins. And these are my top two plays for day two of the latter day challenge. And I'll be taking Andrew Wiggins points and rebounds as well, which is at 15.5. If he has a good shooting night, if he gets plenty of field goal attempts, you should get this on points alone. As far as rebounds, since he's back in the lineup, starting lineup, he's been averaging about five to seven rebounds. Uh, but like I said, you can get this on points alone. So you can see his past five on points in 16, 17, 16. Uh, he has been inserted in the lineup, uh, pretty much taking over uh, Clay Thompson's spot. Uh, but I'll be taking Andrew Wiggins' points and rebounds. And this is my day two of the latter day challenge. Let's head on over to the five man I built up. And first one is Jalen Brunson. And I'm going to be taking his points and rebounds. He can get this on points alone. Uh, but 33.5, it has been bumped. It was at 32.5 last night. I'm um, still going to take it at 33.5. Like I mentioned, he can get this on points alone. Uh, he's been averaging between 3 and 5 rebounds in the past 10 games. Uh, going against Golden State. So I expect Brunson to have a big game. And that is my first leg. Next up, I'll be taking a key role player, Georges Niang. And I'm going to be taking his points and assists. His points is also a good option at 10.5, but I'm going to be taking his points and assists at 12.5. He can get this on points alone. He does average between 2 and 4 assists a game, uh, so I'll be taking the over on that. Next up, I'll be taking is Darius Garden, and I'm going to be taking his rebounds at 2.5. Going against Indiana, I expect him to get 4 or 5 rebounds. He's projected to get 4 rebounds. I'll be taking this 2.5 and over. As you can see, his past couple of games against good rebounder teams, uh, Houston and the Pelicans, he had 5 and 6 respectfully. Uh, he's mostly known for his assists and scoring, uh, but at 2.5 rebounds against a high, fast-paced uh, team against the Pacers, hard to pass up at 2.5 rebounds. So I'll be taking the over on that. Next up, I'll be taking is Clint Capella, and I'm going to be taking his points and assists. Uh, obviously, I took his points and rebounds. You can take that again if you'd like. Uh, but I'm going to be taking his points and assists at 13.5. He can get this on points alone. Uh, but he does average. He gets a sneaky 2-3 to three assist a game. Uh, so at 13.5, I'll be taking the over. Or you can just take his uh, PRA is also good. Or his points at 11.5. Uh, I'll probably take his goblin at 7.5 for that goblin slip that Price Picks is offering today. Uh, so I'll be taking Clint Capella's points and assists over. And my last leg, I'm going to go with De'Aaron Fox. Uh, obviously, his points, PRA, fantasy scores are all good. I'm going to be taking his rebounds. He's been averaging six rebounds in his past 10 games. I believe the line is at 4.5. Usually, it's at 5 or 5.5. It is at 4.5. Going against Memphis, I think he should have plenty of opportunities. As you can see, his past five gone over 4 of 5. Past 10, he has gone over 8 of 10. Uh, so I'm going to be taking his rebounds at 4.5. I expect this line to get bumped to 5, uh, closer to game time. Uh, but these are the 5 I like. Jalen Brunson over points and rebounds. George over points and assists. Garden over rebounds. Fox over rebounds. And Clint Capella over points and assists. You also might want to look at DeAndre Ayton. I think this is a popular pick, which is a big reason why I'll probably a fade prop. Uh, but you can see his past 5 on pretty much every prop. It's been green. I do expect some regression, but he is going against Chicago, so I think he he's still going to continue his uh, his streak. Uh, but if I'll be taking anything, it will probably be his points and assists or his points and rebounds. He's been averaging about 15, 16 rebounds. So you see, he had a stinker against the Pelicans, but the Pelicans plenty have uh, they have plenty of rebounders. Uh, Chicago doesn't, so I expect him to be up there. 
once again so at 12.5 that's also a good line to take uh, but remember uh, price picks is offering a goblin if you put in a goblin all goblins uh, you get a free entry for tomorrow and you might need it for that for taco Tuesday for a profitable day uh, so good luck there's plenty of goblins to choose from I uh, suggest you pick somewhere from the rebounds and assists I was burned on Kevin Durant's points yesterday when I picked the goblin uh, usually the rebounds or assists or even three-point mains goblins are a better hit than the points alone uh, so mix and match pick your favorite I gave you plenty of props today hopefully we make it to day two of the streak and I'll see you guys in the next one.